Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic Kung Fu Master. Kung Fu Master is a side scrolling beat em up that was developed by Irem in 1984 and distributed by Data East in North America. A lot of people know the game simply as Kung Fu, but the shortening of the name was done for the NES port of the game. The game's original title is Kung Fu Master, depending on where you're at in the world, but more on that later. In this game, you play as Thomas who must rescue his girlfriend Sylvia from the evil clutches of Mr. X of the Devil's Temple. To get her, you have to kung fu your way through five perilous floors. Each floor is filled with knife-wielding baddies, guys who just run into you, kids, snakes, butterflies, booby traps, and the typical boss. As a kung fu master, you have an arsenal of moves at your disposal such as punch, kick, and yeah, that's basically all you can do. You can also punch and kick while crouching and jumping. The game was originally based on Bruce Lee's 1972 movie Game of Death. However, the title was changed in development to be a tie-in with Jackie Chan's Hong Kong movie Wheels on Meals. Not Meals on Wheels. Wheels on Meals. The names Thomas and Sylvia in the game are names of the main characters of the movie. When Wheels on Meals was released in Japan, the movie's title was changed to Spartan X, hence the original Japanese title of the game was Spartan X. Because of licensing issues, the game was retitled Kung Fu for worldwide release. Other notable facts is that the game's designer, Takashi Nishiyama, is the one who later designed the original Street Fighter in 1987 before leaving for SNK to help create other notable games like Fatal Fury, Art of Fighting, Samurai Showdown, King of Fighters, and many others. Kaji Kondo, the famous video game composer, also helped out with the sound effects in Kung Fu. Kung Fu Master is an arcade classic and is one of the first arcade games I ever played and never beaten. I always watched other people beat it, but I never could. Don't be fooled by some of the other videos of people not even getting touched one time in the game either. There are also people on YouTube showing you how to plaster the wall and making it look easy when it's not. The reality is that the game is hard. I mean really hard. To tell you the truth, I can't even pass the second stage. Added to Kung Fu's difficulty is that when you continue in the arcade version, you continue on the first stage. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, I must be doing something wrong or something, but it's true. I mean, like, let me show you right here. Yeah, game over. Put in my initials. What up? One or two players. Sylvia is in custody now. And... You see? The first stage. It's, it just continues right, right on the first stage. I, I can't believe it. So if you're feeling nostalgic, and if you're a glutton for punishment, Try out this arcade classic. <laughs>